What's up everybody? Thank you for watching another video of George Lopez of Powerscape 559 Digital Solutions Entertainment. Anyways, uh, today we got how to change some sway bar links on a 2010 Honda Odyssey. Alright, the first thing you're going to need is a jack and a shit ton of tools. Uh, what kind of tools? I don't know, but something tells me we're going to find out. All right, so what we're gonna need to do is lift up the car, we're gonna jack it up, and put some jack stands underneath, cause safety's number one. All right, once you have the car jacked up and secured with both jack stands, we're gonna go ahead and remove the wheels. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is grab your impact, and drive all these out. Remove the rim and just set it to the side. And here are our sway link bars. Grab some light. All right, I went ahead and stuck my LED light right in between the springs. Uh, so we have some light in here. So as you can see, these are shot. And that is the reason why we're going to replace them. Look at that. <laughs> you can see right in there. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and remove them. Uh, looks like it might be a 14, but we're going to find out. Oh, yeah, I was hella wrong. It's a 17. I don't know how the fuck I confused that to 14. Doesn't look that big right there though. Anyways, it's a 17. So we're gonna drive that sucker out. All right, so we're gonna be using a size 17 on here. Size 17. And uh, this took me a second to break it loose. So once you break that loose, you can tell how worn out it is because you should not be able to move this. Demonstrate. Can't move it for shit. <laughs> That's how I know it's not supposed to move. <laughs> and notice that that one does have uh, vinyl nuts, and this has flange nuts. This. So if anything, I'm gonna put these originals back on if they fit that thread. Then I'm gonna throw those on top to make sure that they don't come out. Uh, okay, so down here was a little tricky. You're gonna get the uh, size 17. You're gonna get yourself a either a mallet, little mallet here like this one, or a hammer, and just beat it up. Essentially the same thing that that's doing. It's hammering to knock it loose, and once you have it loose, just go ahead and uh, screw it out. And it comes off with your fingers until it gets stuck like there. And then you gotta do this doohickey. Or you could get a socket. Sure it's easier for you. I don't mind. I have a lot of tools. <laughs> for me, I find easier grabbing a freaking uh, yabe. Uh, wrench. Yeah, wrench. My bad. I'm Mexican. You gotta part in the language barrier. All right, once that's off, <laughs> there it is. The whole swinging bar comes loose. Uh, all right, the tension on this is pretty good, so meaning my bushings are probably still good, and it looks like they are. My bushings are fantastically good still. Thank God, the slight swinging bars didn't mess them up. Uh, cause as you can tell, that would be a bitch to get to him. Yes, it will. There's two nuts or two uh, screws on both ends. Good luck fitting a socket in there. <laughs> yeah, boy. Anyways, that's still good. So the next thing we're going to do is stick our light up here. There it is. All right. We're gonna grab our other sway link part and we're going to go ahead and remove these ones from here. Not bad for the noise, they're out there cutting the grass. 
anyways so we're gonna go ahead and throw this one right there and this one right there all right and like I said we're gonna throw on these factory ones I like original I like to stick with the original if I can so after we tighten those down we're gonna throw these on here because it looks like it might have enough thread oh, to cast the nylon after we put them in there so this is gonna extra secure it in there make sure it doesn't come out because like I said safety is number one what the hell is the other nut there it is all right so we're gonna go ahead and put that together and we'll be right all right so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna tie it down as much as you can grab your hammer You're gonna need to use both hands with this. So you can see how much it went down. It was like right there, and it went all the way down here. So that's how much more tightness it gotten. Same thing with this one, except instead of going down, we're gonna go up on this one. <laughs> we're gonna need two hands. Anyways, once you got that nice and tight, you're gonna put everything back on and you should be done. Just give me a second to tie this up and I should be right back. All right, I went ahead and put both factory nuts on there and the aftermarket ones because they have nylon threading at the end. Lock nut, lock nuts, yeah, lock nuts. Uh, or nylon knots, nylon. Nylon. <laughs> Light. <laughs> Nylon nuts. God day. Anyways. <laughs> that, that's how you get that shit done. <laughs> um, now we're going to slap the wheel back on and we're going to do the other side. But anyways, uh, you seen how I took the wheel off. You seen how I took the sway bars off. And that's how you replace the sway bars on the 2010 Honda Odyssey sweet thank you for watching please like and subscribe don't forget to hit that bell all right let's get out of here before we get kicked out